Tower of Babel, built in the second millennium BC in the ancient city of Babylon in Iraq, depicted by artists through the ages and a powerful symbol of both myth and reality. When people think of the Tower of Babel, they often think of this painting, which is here behind me, blown up, much larger than life size. And it's how the Dutch painter Bruegel in the 16th century brought to life this amazing edifice, which has towered over the world since Genesis was first put to paper. This is really a painting that one has to look at very carefully. It's full of extraordinary things, not least the fact that part of the tower seems to be completely finished and part of it's still in a rudimentary state. And you might imagine that it would all be rudimentary and then all finished at once, but if you've ever worked on a big building project, you'll know that isn't the case. What people don't often know, however, is that the Tower of Babel itself, as imagined here, was once a real building called the Ziggurat in the centre of the capital, Babylon, ruled over by Nebuchadnezzar II. And parallel to this historical account, the Old Testament tells us that the tower, built so that its top may reach unto heaven, became a symbol of human ambition, when the whole world had just one language. Nothing remains on the ground of Nebuchadnezzar's huge edifice, the ziggurat. Nothing remains at all. All the bricks have vanished. But when the surveyors investigated, they established that the ground plan was about 91 metres square. So it was a huge building. And when all the evidence is put together, it's been concluded that the building itself must have been about 70 metres tall. And on this model, there are human beings put in to scale, just to give an idea of exactly how huge it was and how this building in its heyday towered over people's lives, just like the Tower of Babel does when you read the Bible. The Bible tells us that man was to be punished for building his tower to the heavens and that punishment was to be the creation of different languages so that humans would be divided and unable to understand each other. Tayimsi bir avuz gözəldiyini qorub saxlamalıdır. İngiltərədə Queens Boya Puerto Tam titu en vida. My fascination with the Tower of Babel began from about 1990 onward, looking at, for example, Bruegel's famous painting. Anne Desmet is one of the contemporary artists in the exhibition who has an enduring fascination with this image. The Tower of Babel story is, is, is significant in that. Um, I find it as a symbol of human aspiration um, and, and folly, that combination of, of the, the, the ambition of, of human ideals and human dreams and then, and then perhaps overreaching themselves sometimes, but there's still something wonderful in that ambition. And I think there's something in our own generation when, when there are moments of apocalypse. 9-11 was another one, obviously, an obvious one, that it seems to, to make you think back to that historical tradition of the Tower of Babel. It seems still a very relevant image for today. Mm -hmm.